Yo, 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 everybody. What is going on today? Uh, right Wing RB here with you and going to do another Minecraft video in This is Minecraft. And what we're going to work on today is uh, something something that we kind of need. Um, I've got I've got a fair amount of iron around here, but I need more. I need an iron farm. And so that's what we're going to build today. We're going to build it right here. Um, we're going to try and keep a very similar theme, very similar color schemes that we've got going on in the house and, and over there in the, in the stable. Um, but yeah, we're going to build a, uh, a, 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 an iron farm right here on this little hill. Um, hopefully it's going to be something fairly majestic. Um, but this is going to be the collection area at the bottom. We're going to build up from this. Um, so let's see here. I want to use, I think I want to use this as my base. I, li I, do, <laughs> I like this granite block. I really do. Um, I don't know why. I just think it's, I think it's a nice block. Um, but I know some people out there don't think that it is, and that's okay. Uh, to each their own and such. Um, but one of the things that we're going to do here is we're going to also use this blue glass. We're going to uh, we're going to make it so that we can see what's going on in here, for the most part, not entirely, but for the most part anyway. Um, so we'll go that way, that way, like this, this, that, boom, boom. I think, yeah, I, I thought we could, but oh, we just kind of got down and now we have to get back up um so yeah we're gonna build this up several layers actually you know what oh do i have any i don't have anything silk touch do i crudely darn it that's okay um build this up right here now iron golems um oh that's the other thing now this is going to take us a couple episodes just so you know we're not going to be able to get this thing finished uh immediately in this episode. I think we can do this, can't we? We can put signs on here, can't we? Yes, we can. Good. Um, iron golems are three blocks high. Uh, and so to do what I want to do to kill them, I need to make it so that two of the blocks are protected. Just like so. Um, uh -huh. Just the like of that. Just the like of that. Uh, now, the other thing that we're going to need to do mm -hmm, is I think we're going to need to go along the lines of something like this on this level. So let's go like that, like so. Boom, 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 one, let's see, go there and there. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's keep that. Let's keep that open like that. What's going on here? Okay. Had to turn my render distance down again because of the way that this is gonna, the way this is gonna go. Uh, we want a dispenser right here, I think. Yep. Let's go like this, like so. And then I think we'll do blue glass here in the front again, like this. Boom, boom. Okay. And then we just need to build up. Let's see, we're, uh, let's see, that's one, two, that's three levels here. That's three layers. Um, I want to go up at least, oh, I don't know. Let's see here. I want to be up above the house. Um, yeah, we're going to go up 10 blocks. 10 blocks is still going to be pretty good. Um, but we're going to do uh, like a 20 by 20 spawning area which would be pretty awesome. Um, I think we're going to go with... Mm -hmm, I think we're going to go with granite from here up. So that is... Uh, let's see, so we're three, so that's four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this level here is going to be... Yeah, I think this will be okay. So this level right here where I'm standing is going to start the floor level for the spawning chamber or the spawning platform. 
want to get down so we don't like kill ourselves. Um, so we'll put that right there. And put that right there. Good deal. Oh, ouch. Okay. So yeah, that's going to be how tall that is. Then there'll be a 20 by 20 area on top of that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and build this up the rest of the way. Build this little drop chamber right here up so that the iron golems have something to fall in and uh, like I said also we're going to use we're going to use lava to kill these guys so uh, give me just a minute and uh, when I be when I'm back we'll be ready to start laying out the uh, laying out the spawning table or not the spawning table the spawning table but the spawning platform so we'll be back in just a minute okay so we got our little tower built um, what we're going to do now is we're going to come out from this tower um, nine blocks in every direction, and that should give us a 20 by 20 uh, platform. Um, we'll go out eight blocks either way, plus another block for the um, for the wall that we're going to that we're going to have to have. But we're going to use half slabs. Um, we're going to use half slabs because that will make um, that will make everything kind of last a little bit longer. So that's three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, let's see here. Do I want to use, how do I want to do this? Do I want to make it, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we're going to make it out of this. I think we're going to make it out of this. That way it kind of ties into the house a little bit. Um, oops, wrong way. Let's go this way. So right there. Okay. So now we need to fill this all in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one more is eight. Okay. Whoops, darn it. Ah. ah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. There and there. Okay. And we just need to keep right on and doing this. We're going to make it a, like I said, we're going to make it a 20 by 20, uh, 20 by 20 area. Whoopsie. Uh, that'll work. That will work. That will work. That will work. We're going to build this out in every direction. And so we'll be back in just a minute, okay? Okay. Okay, so we got the basic frame here in. Uh, now we're half slabbing everything out. Um, I've had to make several trips <laughs> back into the furnaces to get all the stuff that I need. And also, uh, you know, to make sure I don't, like, fall to my death. Um, although we're not up very high. We're only up, you know, what, a dozen blocks or so. Um, not overly high. Okay. Um, so, now we, we're a little ahead of the game here because we're going to have this spawner set up, this uh, iron golem spawner. But we're not going to have any iron golems because we don't have any villagers. So we're going to have to make arrangements to get some villagers over here. Uh, and that'll be the next thing that we do um, after we get this thing all set up. Because we're going to need to get villagers over here and start a villager breeding system um, in order to get the iron golems to form. We're going to need at least... We're going to need at least eight villagers, so the next thing that we set up is probably going to be an infinite breeder, uh, infinite village breeder system. Uh, we'll incorporate it into this, I suspect. Um, oh wow, this is going fast. This is going fast. I love it. Love it a lot. Um, because uh, in in order to get this in order to get this iron golem breeder to to set up properly we have to have at least eight villagers plus the the way that we're building this thing we're going to have uh, what 48 48 doors uh, so 
Um, yeah, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, and eventually we'll have enough villagers. Oops. I need to get at least two back here and get them set up with a village so that they'll start breeding. Actually, I need to get three back here. Three will be enough to get the ball rolling. So today I had to go up to Atlanta uh, to help facilitate a class. Uh, we do, we're doing some behavior-based safety training, um, and it's, what it is, is it's like, uh, it's like, uh, psych, uh, behavioral science type stuff where we, uh, we reinforce positive behaviors so that our employees will, you know, I don't know, I guess kind of, uh, do safe things rather than unsafe things. Uh, sounds, I know it sounds overly simplistic, but sometimes people make bad choices. Oop. Um, they make bad choices and they end up doing things that can get them hurt. And so one of the things that we try to teach them is how to, how to, we try to teach our supervisors how to emphasize the positive things that people are doing so that they're more likely to stay safe over the long haul um, so yeah that's what I've been doing all day and it's you know I had to go up into Atlanta to do this and that's not my idea of a good time uh, because I ended up spending far more time in traffic this morning than I wanted to uh, I don't live in Atlanta I live close by you know close enough that we can go up there and visit all the time but uh, you know we want to do that on our terms and not not my employer's terms. We're going to have to go get some more stuff here. So we'll go downstairs and we'll get some more. I got more smooth stone cooking up down here. Uh, wow, that worked out well. Yeah, that worked out very well. Uh, normally I'll dig a deeper hole than what I need. So coming on down here and we'll get some more get some more smooth tone. I think I've got some in here. Yes, I do. Ooh, not very much. Um, yeah, not very much at all. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's only 24 blocks. That's definitely not going to be enough. We're going to need to get some more cooking. Going to need to get some more cooking. So we'll do that, and we'll do that. And we probably better do... Ooh, we probably better do that. <coughs> Um, yeah. good thing cobblestone is easy to come by in the, around here, you know. So we'll get that going. Come over here to this one. That's got enough to go there. We'll get this one going. Oh, I had glass. I forgot I was making glass. So we'll put that over here. Um, ooh, smooth stone. Awesome. Okay. And we'll get this. Uh huh. Perfect. Excellent. That might be. It yeah, probably won't be. Might be enough. We'll see. We've got to build a two. Oh, it's going to be more than that. We have to build a. Uh, we have to build a border around this thing because the. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, it should be this one. That should be where we want to be. Yeah, that'll work. Um, but we need to build a border around here because we're going to put water streams in. And once we do that, better make that one higher. Uh, once we have these water streams in, um, the, the spawner will essentially be almost ready to go. We're also going to need to build a bunch of doors. Uh, like I said, we're going to need 48. 48? 48? Is it 48 doors? 6, 12, 40, yeah. Yep. There's going to be 48 doors. Uh, there's 12 on each side, four sides. That's 48. And what that'll do is that will allow us to have uh, the right number of villagers um, in order to get the iron golems to start spawning. 
Okay, build this up one more. Oh, I'm going to need to get some more, aren't I? This will probably be the last row of um, stone brick uh, for this build. Uh, the rest of it's going to be most likely granite. Um, oh, hey. Oh, I know what that is. Oh, remember a couple episodes ago when I was when I was uh, uh, half slabbing out the roof of the house and some of those blocks showed up as gray? I couldn't figure out what it was. I know what that is now. Those are the walls underneath them. Ha ha ha. That's what that is. Oh, see? Dug one too deep. There we go. Put that right there. Put that right there so we know where we're going. And we'll go down here and see if we can find some more stuff. Um, we also need a butt ton of torches. Because we're going to want to make this thing so that nothing spawns inside. I had to turn my render distance down again. Uh, so that the game is kind of playable. Um, yeah. Just, yeah. Um, okay. Oops. 50... 52 is an even number, so I'll go like that. Okay. Is there 60? Well, we got 64 now? Oh, okay. Uh huh. Boom. 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 Uh huh. Okay. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, we're going to have to go get some villagers, so we're going to have to probably set up, I might as well sleep real quick, we're going to probably have to set up a rail system to be able to go over there and pick them up. We're going to need, like I said, we're going to need at least three. Um, those of you that have seen it in our multiplayer world, in our server, um, I actually did an infinite uh, villager breeder on that server, and I'll probably have to set one of those up over here too. Yeah, go one higher. I should have started building doors. Oh well. All right, so I'm gonna keep going on this, and get things going around. We'll leave it. We'll get started uh, getting ready to put the uh, uh, yeah, put the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, uh huh. Put the what am I trying to say? Holy cow! Put the doors in. That's what I'm talking about. And we'll be right back. All right, so we got the uh, we got the sp the first spawning pod built um, inside. There's going to be another one right above this, and eventually there'll be a second spawning pad, a uh, spawning grouping above this. Uh, but we have to go up quite a ways, and we have to have enough villagers. But what we have to do now is we got to set up the water streams that are going to filter everything into the center, um, and so. What you see here is I've, I've blocked off all the corners because we want we, we want in, infinite water streams coming off of the sides here, but we want these corners to have like a waterfall coming up from down from from above. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to get ourselves in such a way that we can create an infinite water source up here that we can use to uh, to make this happen. And you know how, I, I'm assuming that you guys all know how to create an infinite water source, and that is, you know, start a source block there, skip a block, another source block. Now we've got the one in the middle becomes infinite, and then we can do that the whole way down. All the way down. And voila. And what we should have is... Perfect. They stop right there at the edge. So anything that it spawns over here is going to get washed down to the center this way. Now we'll come over here and we'll start this whole thing, all this whole process all over again, right? Like that. And these depth strider boots make things really easy. In creative, I did not have the depth strider boots, and so I kept getting washed down to the center. Uh, real easy and I thought for sure I was gonna die but it was creative so no big deal but we just need to go around and do this the whole way 
like so. opening right there is how I've been getting in and out so and boop, right there we're almost done we're getting closer all the time and boop, right there and boop, right there and one more boom okay now all of these streams should filter into the center and they do see how we got that one two by two block right there in the center that's exactly what we want now we need to make these go away and we need to get a source block and put it right here in the corner just like that okay so we're going to do that all the way around and these depth strider boots make this nice um, if you ever get the Death Strider enchantment, it's pretty freaking amazing. I love it. Okay, come over here and do the same thing over here. And boop, like that. Get ourselves another water box, a water bucket. And tear this one out like so. And put that one in like that. And then come right over here like this. Perfect. That is exactly what we need, just like so. Um, now, I'm not going to... Well, yeah. Let's see. If I just take one of these dirt blocks and throw it in there, should filter right on down. And when I go down to the bottom, it should end up in the chest down there. So let's go take a look. We can close this off now. Find my stone brick right there. Put that right there. Put that right there. La, 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 la. And put that right there, like that. We got a torch there? No, we need a torch there. So we need to place a torch right here. Uh, you want to make sure that this is this is lit up really good because you don't want any mobs spawning in there. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Any mobs around? I'm guessing no because I'm I'm on a shorter render distance, and mobs don't want to spawn in this world if I'm on a shorter render distance, which I don't like. So yeah, there's that dirt block. We'll put that back in here like so. And this can go right here because I lost that earlier. So that's perfect. Um, you remember if I remember when I started, I had a, a two by three. I decided to bring it back one, so it's only a, a two by two. Um, that's just going to work out better, I think, for me. Uh, we do need to go get a lava bucket. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of where we're at for right now. There's not a whole lot more that I can do with this. Oh yes, there is. Yeah, there is. I got. Uh, oh yeah, I got the doors. So let's go ahead and put the doors in. I guess. I don't know why I didn't mem didn't remember that I could do that. Let's go ahead and put the doors in. Okay. We're going to need to build scaffolding all the way around this thing. Um, we're also going to need to set blocks in the corners. We're going to need to set blocks in the corners and be able to count from those blocks. So let's take a look at that real quick. We need one there, one there. Okay, come over here and do the same thing. All four corners. Oop. I do not want to fall off of this thing. I don't really want to fall inside. If I fall inside, that's not horrible. If I fall off of this side, I'll just fall in water, but everywhere everywhere else, I'm not real keen on falling. And like I almost just did there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and build scaffolding all the way around here, and we'll be back in just a minute. Alright, so we got some scaffolding going all the way around this thing. That'll help us out when we're ready to place the doors. Um, the next thing that we want to do, and where is all of my... I used it all. Man, I'm going to have to go get some more. Um, the next thing that we need to do is we need to get some... Uh, we need to build a... Uh, we, need, we need to get some more granite. 
Uh, whoops. Boop, boop. Um, I also think I might want to get some diorite. I like that diorite, too. I know that there's a lot of people out there that don't like those blocks, but that's okay. Um, and again, this is going to take me more than one episode because, like I said, I don't have everything that I need. And, whew, okay, polished diorite, sure. We'll take some of those. And need some granite. So we'll take that. And we'll take that also. This will be polished. Whoop. And this will be polished. Okay. Um, what else? Did we need anything else? Yeah, we're good. Oops. Let's go back up there and see if we can't get something done here. I feel like the episode's getting kind of long. Which it probably is. We're also going to try and dress this thing up pretty nice, too, uh, on the outside. I think I might do kind of a saucer shape on it. We'll see. Um, right now it's just square, which is fine. It's not exactly what I want, but it's fine. Get back up here. Show you what I need to do. Show you what I mean about all this stuff going on here. So we need to, we need to go six blocks. Um, let's do, yeah, let's do this. Let's go six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Place a block and then place six blocks. Okay. And then there should be one, two, three, four, five, six blocks to the next one. Okay. We're going to do that around all four sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Place a block. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Do that around this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place a block. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one last side right here. One, two, three, four, five, six place block and in the open spaces that's one two three four five six in the open spaces then we're going to put in doors so jump down here like this and put a door there and we're going to want to make sure that we do this without falling off okay So we'll just do this all the way around. Perfect. And what this is going to do is this is going to give us our simulated village, so to speak. Uh, so that the iron golems feel like they've got something to protect. Because that's what iron golems are all about, protecting villagers. If there are a certain number of doors and a certain number of villagers, then we will have a certain number of iron golems, which is awesome. And then each time one spawns, it'll fall down the center there. It'll fall down into my little collection chamber. We'll pour lava on his head, and he will die. And we'll get all the stuff. We'll get the uh, we'll get the poppies. So that'd be a great way to get red. Uh, get poppies for red dye and it will also be a great way to uh, it'll be a magnificent way to get iron which is something that we desperately need iron is in very short demand or very short supply right now um, I wish there was a way that I could get villagers now over here so that we can start getting the iron so that I had iron to make rail, but I don't. Because the best way to get those villagers from over there where they are, I think it's over there, no, it's over, it's over there. Uh, the best way to get those villagers from over in that village that we found over to here is going to be to uh, bring them over by minecart. And so since I don't have a minecart, I can't really do that very handily. 
But yeah, there's uh Yeah, there it is. That's the beginnings of it. There will be more, of course. Uh there's going to be another spawning cell on top of this, but uh I need to check a couple of things out and when I come back, we'll see what else we can, we'll see what else we can do this episode. Be right back. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? Uh, I think it's going to fit in well right here. We'll tidy up that little mound right there, make it look better. Um, but I just, I've been standing here on top of this dirt pillar for a few minutes, just kind of checking it out, seeing how it fits. And I think it's going to fit just fine. I think it's going to look just peachy. Um, got the, got the zombie spawner over there. Uh, somewhere over there is the skeleton spawner. I haven't done a, I haven't done very much work over there recently, but I need to get back over there and work on the spider spa, uh, spider farm. Um, but yeah, this is going to look good. Um, the episode is running a little bit long. We're at about 30 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be looking at ways to get over to the village, which is way over there, a couple, couple three or 400 blocks, I think, if I remember right, um, and, uh, and get the villagers back over here. I need, to, like I said, I need to get at least three. If I can get at least three, then we can... Uh, then we can start getting an, uh, a, 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 village, a villager breeder uh, set up over here. Um, now, the one thing we got to watch out for is that this village, I'm doing air quotes right now, you can't see me, but this village needs to be at least uh, 80 blocks away from any other village. Uh, and so the, the generally accepted safe distance is 100 blocks. We should be fine on the other village that we've got, you know, way over there. But uh, if we bring any villagers over here, they could interfere with what's going on over here. So we're going to need to scout out a place where we can set up a, uh, a village that's closer by than the one we've got, you know, way off in the distance there. Um, so that we can have villagers close by, so that we can have uh, villager trading and all of that. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I know we didn't get the thing finished, but we're going to work on it some more. And uh, this will probably be a two, maybe three episode uh, thing that we got going on here. And uh, boy, look at that sunset. That's, a, that's screenshot worthy there. Smile. That's pretty. I like it. Turn the render distance back up so that we can see a lot of different things. Pretty cool. Uh, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, um, here on the YouTubes, of course. And uh, you can do all that under Right Wing RB. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye-bye.